Today, we'll be going over Jedrick Wills, the offensive tackle for Alabama. So he stands at 6'4", 312 pounds, 34 and a quarter inch arms, 10 inch hands. His combine was pretty solid. It wasn't, you know, Tristan Wirfs type, but it was very solid all around. 40 yard dash is not too bad. 20 yard shuttle was definitely, you know, probably top 10 in this class. Broad jump wasn't too bad. Vertical's not too bad. It's actually very good for an offensive lineman. So good numbers for him overall. Some people have concerns about him being too small. I personally don't see that, but. With that being said, we'll get into his game film now. So play number one, we have a passing rep. A lot of passing reps in here. Not many runs, but that's just the way it was. So a guy tries to spin move on him. Gives up kind of a pressure right there. It wasn't too bad. Tua fumbles the ball. I think he was playing injured this game, so I won't get on him too much. But I kind of wish he had good feet right here, but I kind of wish he punched a bit earlier, like before the spin move, like kind of like right about here when he was approaching. But... You know, does the spin move, kind of gets some leverage. He's in the pocket a bit, but it wasn't the worst rep in the world. Tua gets out of it. I think the center or whoever it was gave up a lot of pressure on this play. I think, no, the right guard actually gave up a lot of pressure here. So not a bad rep for Wills, but I do wish the hands came out a bit earlier. You know, his hands were down right here, and I do wish it was a bit earlier with the initiation, but it's not the worst rep in the world. Definitely, you know, not, not the worst kind of this offensive line for sure. So for this play, I saw a lot of positives, but one tiny negative at the end will we'll just run it here. So on the right side against Chase on does a good job. Chase on tries to swipe down with his hands. We'll get into the negative right after this, but you watch his footwork and stuff like that. Hand placement was pretty good, and Chase on tries to swipe him right there with his left hand. Doesn't really work, and it's a, it's a quick pass, so I can't really say, like, you know, the tackles did much on this play. But it's after this that I kind of wish he got more involved with the play right about here. You could tell he's just kind of jogging it off. And, you know, we saw Andrew Thomas in the last video really hustle on one play to try and push the pile. It's a second and nine, so you're trying to get as many yards as possible right here. So I kind of wish Wills got over here quickly to try and push, you know, his receiver closer to the uh, the first down marker but it is what it is not the worst thing in the world but in terms of his, his technique and the uh, the passing rep he did a pretty good job right here so I'm always like personally interested in seeing how these tackles handle stunt plays because we play a team like the Cowboys twice a year that does so many of them. So right here, he does a pretty good job. The right guard does not do a good job, if I remember correctly, but Wills does a good job with the trade-off here. Right guard gets beat, Tua steps out of it. But, you know, as for Wills, does a really nice job here. I mean, just... First, I mean, he kind of just lets his guy go. He doesn't really, like, you know, a guy like Andrew Thomas we saw in the other video, he kind of chased his guy here. He de definitely, like, just followed his guy too much. But Will stays in his spot, doesn't do anything wrong here, waits for the um, defensive tackle over here. I don't even know if it's a defensive tackle. Looks like a blitzing linebacker. Waits for the blitzing linebacker, I should say, to get over to the right tackle spot. Then he lays down his block. But the right guard came over a bit too far, so that's not too good on both of their parts. But I think as for Wills, he did the right thing on this play. So here he is in a passing rep against a bigger defensive end. I think he is 300 pounds, I looked up. So I wanted to see what he did against a bigger guy. This is a perfect rep. The arms are perfect. His base is fine. I mean, I like how he locks his arms right here. I saw Andrew Thomas do this on a few plays, but not too many. I mean, I don't know why, but Alabama just, I guess they had better coaching or something. But their offensive linemen, I mean, I love Jonah Williams last year who went to the Bengals, unfortunately got hurt. But, you know, Jonah Williams' technique was phenomenal. And I see a lot of the same things Jedrick Wills here. His arms are locked. I think his feet are just moving great. So guy almost knocked the pass down, but that's not his fault. But in terms of just not giving up pressure, this is a tremendous rep right here against a bigger defensive end. So I think this guy can definitely get it done. There are some size concerns by some people or maybe some weight concerns, whatever it is. But I really don't see that issue with Wills. He can definitely handle the bigger pass rushes if he needs to. So here's a rep against Chase on in a pass set, and he just gets out of his break so perfectly here. I love this. Like, that's just perfect. I love that. And Chase on never really has a chance. I mean, that's just a really good play. Jerry Judy doing his thing, but that's just an awesome rep right there. Just gets out of his stance really well, very nice, and then just perfect. Locks his arms once again. Chase on really doesn't have a chance. He's more of a smaller edge rusher. Someone in the comments said Chase on sucks. I don't really know about that. He's definitely going to be a first round pick. I, I would say probably 90% sure he's going to go in the first round in this draft. So he can't suck, but um, 
Some people love the guy, some don't. I think, you know, he could be good, could be terrible. We'll see. But as for Wills on this play, this is an awesome rep, I think. And, yeah, I think in terms of pass blocking offensive tackles, especially out of the big four, if you include Becton, he's definitely the best in pass blocking. So in terms of protecting Daniel Jones for the future, I did say this on the last podcast, I think Jedrick Wills would be your guy to protect Daniel Jones. So here's another instance of him handling a stunt very well. We went over one before, but this is another example of it. So here we go. Pretty simple. I mean, the technique is just flawless. I think he's probably the most NFL-ready offensive tackle we have right now. Of course, you know, Thomas has some minor flaws. I think Wirfs has some minor flaws. But this guy, pretty good at everything and just handles that like a pro. So that's another rep I liked right there. So this is the first running play we're going to go over, and I'll admit it's pretty hard to see him, but he's right here, 74. So at first he chips a defensive tackle, then blocks a linebacker, makes a very key block in this play. I don't know if you could see it. I'll try to slow it down. This was a big run play. This running back for Alabama, by the way, is ridiculous. I don't know when he's going to be drafted. I don't know if he was a freshman or sophomore, but this I think it's Najee Harris or something like that. He is insane. So anyway, I think Wills is right here, and I'll try to slow it down. So he works his way on the defensive tackle. Then he seals this linebacker coming in right here. So he makes this key block right here. This is his helmet. This is the linebacker. Very tough to see, but at the same time, he was a big reason for making this long run play happen. Here's another running play. Does a good job on this one as well. I mean, he's not Andrew Thomas in the run game, but he's solid. I mean, he does a good job there just getting his nose in the play at first on the defensive end. Does a good job. I mean, just puts his shoulder into him. Does not square up his block. I think he was trying to work into the uh, second level. Then once he gets his hands on the linebacker right here, it's a good block. I mean, perfect technique right there. Run goes for a first down. So he wasn't, like, too involved with the play, but it just shows you that he is a very good run blocker and he's very capable of doing so. He's just not the overpowering type of guy that Andrew Thomas is. So here's a play going against a 310-pound defensive end right here. Does a very nice job once again. Flawless technique, locks the arms, feet are moving. I loved it. That was fine. Um, yeah, I don't see many flaws in his pass protection. There's one play out of the, I think, 30 plays of him we're going over where he gets beat. I mean, he was just close to perfection when it comes to pass blocking. I mean, he did make one mistake in run blocking that I saw. We'll go over that later. But, I mean, look, to, to make two mistakes on probably, I've watched probably 80-something plays in the last, you know, day or so of this guy. That is a phenomenal ratio. This was some great offensive line play by everybody, but this is just like an example. He just makes it look so easy. It's like he's not even trying, it looks like, in pass protection. I mean, this guy against him has no chance. He does have some assistance from his right guard, but, I mean, everyone here did a great job on the line, and especially Jedrick Wills. He just makes everything in pass blocking look so easy. It looks like he's been doing it for, like, 20 years, even though he's probably barely 20 years old, so just very fun to watch. So here's one of those like kind of negative plays, and I could be off about this, but at first does a good job of sealing the right side here to create a lane for his running back, but then I kind of wish he kept his head up and blocked Delpit right here, who did miss a tackle. I mean, that guy is the king of missed tackles when you watch LSU play, but anyway. So I wish like right about here, I mean, I know he's trying to keep his eyes inside on the linebacker group, but when you see a safety coming up to try and make a tackle, there was really no one to block in this area, so I wish he kind of kept his head up and blocked the safety, but I don't really know if that's his responsibility or not so I could be you know talking out of my ass here but at the same time I feel like that would have been more of an effective block I don't really want to hold that against him but it probably would have been the uh, the right move but he didn't miss a tackle anyway so it is what it is here's another good run blocking rep he does get some help from his right guard here but it's a you know two-on-one rep but still it's it's you know against a really big guy he's probably over 300 pounds easily so I like seeing the power the strength right here just keeps his legs moving and I love that creates a lane from his running back they pick up nine yards on that play so I really don't have I had some concerns coming into this about his run blocking because I didn't really hear anything positive about it but after watching him play a lot I don't really have concerns he's not like you know the athletic freak that uh, Worfs is and isn't the you know mauler that Andrew Thomas is but this guy gets it done in the run game so I really don't have concerns about that another really good run blocking rep on the goal line he's right here first helps with the DN then blocks Patrick Queen and basically throws him to the ground so another beautiful one right there and they actually show a replay. It's very rare for this video. They did not show many replays here, but um, Worfs, I about to say Thomas. Worfs is right here, so you see him working on the D-end at first, helps with that. Then goes on the Patrick Queen, seals off that entire right side for his running back, follows the fullback. He's barely touched, honestly, and an easy touchdown right there. 
So the offensive line gives up a sack on this play, but I can't blame the offensive line. I think Tua just held the ball very long. And you see Worfs doing a really, not Worfs, I keep saying the wrong name, Wills, doing a good job here in pass protection. I mean, he holds him off. I'll try to count like one, two, three, four, five, like five, six seconds, whatever it was. So he did his job there. Unfortunately, there was no one open downfield apparently, but he was bull rushed at the end and, you know, he kind of moves back a little bit. But I think for the most part, did a really good job of scoring his shoulders and staying in front of his guys. So there was never a point in this rep where you thought he was going to get beat. I think the technique, he hits him really early. So I like that. You see the punch with his right hand right there. I like that and just keeps his shoulders square. Does a great job of keeping the pocket for Tua. Unfortunately, no one was open and it results in a sack. But I think Wills did a very nice job on this rep. So Wills displays some very good power right here. I mean, I'm no football expert, but this had to be an RPO based off where the uh, you know the left guard was pulling on this play. It looked like he was run blocking as well. I mean, two guys were pulling here, so decides to pull it out for a pass, and it was very close to being uh, completed. But if you watch, Wills does a very nice job with the power right here on the defensive end. You see him just punching right here, pushing, and just keeps driving his legs. It was It's phenomenal. Pushes him back two yards. You know, if it was a run play, he definitely did his job. Unfortunately, it wasn't complete, but you have to love the power shown right there by Jedrick Wills. So now on to his game against Auburn. The first play is against future giant Derek Brown. I don't want to say that. That sounds terrible. But yeah, Derek Brown right here and Wills is right here between the guys on the outside. It's kind of hard to see it from this angle. That's why I like the all 22 version a lot better. But we'll have to deal with this for now. So Wills does a nice job of taking him out of this running play right here. Just gets his hands in a great position, moves his feet, doesn't make it a hold. It is perfect. And I can't even locate him. Right, so he's right here. Arms are locked. He's moving, you know, horizontally, and just does a great job on Derek Brown, who is a powerful player. So it definitely displays the power once again that Wills has. So you love seeing that, and just completely takes him out of this running play. So here's Wills right here. He's not on the end. He's right here, so you don't get confused. But I feel bad for this guy that he's going against right here because he just had no chance at all during this rep. He does, he's not squared at the end right here. I mean, I could throw a tiny red flag for this, but like at the same time, he just keeps it going, moving his feet. So he's not completely squared as you can see right here, but at the same time, it's still very effective. Quarterback gets the ball out pretty easily, and that's definitely not two, whoever the hell that is, but still. Um, nice rep right there. Guy had no chance, so the first time I watched it, I was like, oh, I feel bad for that guy. But once again, a great job by Wills. Another great run blocking rep right here. So here he is. He's going to chip Derek Brown at first and then just completely knocks a safety off his feet. So this was fun to watch. That is awesome. This was a big run right here. I cut it off soon. He was actually going for a hurdle right here, and I think he got the first down. So that's my fault, but it was a very cool play by Najee Harris. But anyway, back to Will. So he works here on Derek Brown, and then I want to show you the safety again. So the safety's right here engaging in contact with him, and he basically... I don't know if he throws an elbow. It kind of looks like it, but just completely knocks him down right there. There he is on the ground, and Will is just another great job. Got to love that stuff. So here's a play where he should have been beat inside, but his hand placement is so good it doesn't even happen. Nice play by that cornerback right there, but that's the guy with the long name, actually. I remember he's in this draft. I forget his name, honestly. But anyway, so... He makes a really nice play right here. I mean, he probably should have gotten beat inside, and you can see that left hand. Doesn't look like holding because he's still in front of him, so I wouldn't really call that. But that's still a very nice job right there of being able to stay in front of your guy. I mean, I feel like if he was unathletic and stuff like that and wasn't strong, this probably would have been a play where he would have left his quarterback out to dry. But here's a situation where his hands are just so strong that it does not even matter, and he still gives his quarterback enough time to make a throw. So I did say that Wills is not a mauler before, but if he keeps making plays like this, I'll have to eat my words. I mean, here he is right here and knocks one guy down and then aggressively goes after a linebacker. It looks like a cornerback. I don't know. A linebacker, corner? Can't even tell because in college, it's like they can wear whatever the hell number they want, so it's always throwing me off. But it looks like he's playing a linebacker position. But throw his number eight on the ground right here. This, this poor guy right here just throws him on the ground right from the jump. So that's awesome. Then works his way to the second level and still throwing out a nice block. They didn't square it up too well, but at least he initiated contact and still made somewhat of a play there. But they get the first down on the fourth and one play. But that is an awesome rep right there. A mauler type of rep. And, you know, when you're throwing one guy down and working your way to the next guy, that's an awesome job right there. 
So this is a play I didn't have to show, but I wanted to because I think it shows his awareness and his alertness and just how smart of a player he is. So it's a cornerback blitz here on the bottom, and his guy's going to be on a stunt. So Wills, of course, is right here. So his guy goes on a stunt. The right guard basically takes care of him right here. So now Wills, in the corner of his eyes, he's number 23 right here, blitzing from the cornerback position. And it is a bit of a late reaction, but at least he does have the awareness and reaction to get over there. The ball's released in time, but at least he didn't like just completely not see that. That definitely would have concerned me a little bit. But to have the awareness to at least try to make an effort to push this cornerback away was a, a nice job by me. So I like seeing that. So maybe I should start calling him a mauler because I forgot about this play as well. So here he is right here. He's going against Marlon Davidson, who's probably going to be like a second or third round pick in this year's draft and completely pancake him so this was great to watch I think Davidson's right here in the uh, three-point stance or four-point stance sorry so watching get thrown to the ground it is a thing of beauty right there opens up a lane for his running back and Najee Harris does crazy stuff like that all the time apparently that's at least what I saw watching this so does a great job throwing his guy to the ground and that's just that's great I mean when you when you can block like this I, I, as I always say it does not matter who's running the ball in this situation if you have a right tackle that can literally throw a future NFL prospect down to the ground like that then you are doing all right so that's a touchdown right there for Alabama mainly because of their right tackle. So this play was interesting, and as I've stated before, I am not the biggest college football fan out there, so I did not know about this rule, but if your helmet comes off during a play, the player must not continue to participate in the play to prevent injury, but Jedrick Wills does the opposite right here, so his helmet does come off when he reaches the second level, does a nice job here helping on the defensive tackle, then goes here, has his helmet knocked off, continues to try and block, the linebacker is complaining to the ref because he knows that that's the rule, watch 33 right here, just like throw his hands up to the ref, like, hey, you can't do that, but I guess the ref didn't call it, but he did set out the next play, so that is another part of the rule that if the player's helmet comes off, they have to sit out for the next rep and that's what happened but yeah you can't really control that but I love the toughness here it's just like I don't really care my helmet came off I'm still going to try and block you and help the team so that's just a, a team first kind of player and I like seeing that a lot here is another dominant passing rep right here. I'm kind of just running out of things to say, so watch him here. This guy looks like a smaller player. I wouldn't really, I don't know if he's a corner, defensive end, whatever the hell. That's a bad throw, but I don't know what position this guy actually is, but he just throws him to the ground, eventually just gets his hands on top of his shoulders and just pushes him straight in the ground, stays on top of him, so I love that rep right there. Not much to say. I'm kind of running out of adjectives to just describe this guy because his pass blocking is insane, and I love everything about it so far. The reason I said so far is because this is the first bad rep in pass blocking that I've seen so far in the two full games I've watched of him. So this is a play where I think he's going against the same guy. This looks like a smaller player once again. Just gets beat, beat on a nice spin move. Not the same player. Number 29. I don't know if that's a cornerback. I can't even tell because college football is weird like that. But gets beat on a spin move. I think right here he just never gets his right hand in a good spot. You could just see his right hand's never like, you know, his arms aren't extended like they should be. And by the time he's like leaning, he's leaning too much to the right and just never gets that right hand on him. And by the time he even like recognizes it, he's already by him. But it doesn't matter. Didn't get sacked. I mean, this is a play where nothing really happens. You know, that's that's bad for an offensive tackle. But at the same time, you kind of wish the technique was a bit better. But look, to have one bad passing rep, and I've probably watched... I don't know, 60 passing reps of him to have one bad one in 60 reps. I mean, yeah, you're human. I get it. So I'm not going to be too mad about that. Here is the last running play rep I'm going to show of him right here. It's another good one. So once again, he's going to chip right here on Derek Brown. Does a good job there. Then gets to the second level to block this linebacker right here, I believe, if I'm right, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so does a good job right there. I mean, doesn't completely square up his block and knock him out of the way. He did a lot of, like, weird, like, run blocking plays. He kind of, like, threw his shoulder into guys. I mean, that's kind of what he did right here. Just, like, threw his – didn't really extend his arms and hold the block like I wish he would, but kind of just, like, tried to – I don't even know. Like, he kind of hit him like a safety going over the middle. Like, it was kind of weird. Didn't really put his arms out and try to hold on to this block here, but I guess it's effective enough because running back just has the first down. And unfortunately, that the guy he was blocking catches him from behind, but at the same time, they pick up, you know, a bunch of yards on that play so I can't really complain but you know I don't know if that's a thing they teach at that school or whatever it is but I don't know why his arms weren't really locked on him or extended but it is what it is and once again a pretty nice job right there.
So a couple plays ago, we saw his first bad passing rep against this same guy right here who once again tries the same move, and he's just not going to have it. I absolutely loved watching this because he learned from his mistake. I don't know if he threw him down or if he tripped, but if he threw him down, that's spectacular. I don't even know if that's legal to throw a guy down like that, um, but that's just phenomenal. I don't know if he trips over the right guard's foot or something, but like just, yeah, just throws him into the ground, stares him down at the end. I mean, yeah, you beat me last time, but like that's not happening again, so I absolutely love seeing that. You know, you could get beat once, but at least he learns from his mistake. So here is the last play I'm going to show. He is right here, another pass blocking rep, and just once again, does a really nice job. Kind of got beat at the end, but just stayed pretty square, did a nice job, shows the power right here, shows his base, and, you know, his arms weren't too extended there, so it is what it is. I mean, I kind of a hold-ish, not really. I probably wouldn't have called it. I don't think the refs called it either, but, you know, that's it's whatever. So that's just a great job. I mean, the entire video, I loved watching this guy in pass protection. It was really good. As I said, he had like one, maybe one and a half bad reps in probably the 50, 60 passes I saw. And just to cap it off, I mean, my thoughts on this guy, he's probably the safest offensive, safest offensive tackle prospect in this class. I know Andrew Thomas probably has more upside. I know Tristan Wirfs is the freak athlete, and I'll dive into Tristan Wirfs in the next time I do a video like this. I already started looking at some clips, but, you know, he, as for Jedrick Wills, I just don't, like, I think Alex on the podcast told me that, you know, one writer said that he's either going to be a very solid starter or, like, you know, just a future Hall of Fame type player, and I definitely see that happening. I just don't see a scenario where this guy does not succeed in the NFL. I just don't see it happening. He's way too good, just way too just his, his technical skills are just so good. His technique is awesome. Has enough strength. It's underrated how much strength this guy has. His arms are great. Puts his hands in a good place on pass reps and I just don't see a way he would be a bad pro. So if the Giants took him at number four, I'd be thrilled about it. I think this guy is the safest player in the draft. I do think they do like Tristan Wirfs the most, so we'll dive into him next video. I'd rather have Thomas or Wills before I take Wirfs, but we'll see. I don't think Wirfs is a bad prospect, so I can live with that. I just hope they trade down if they were to do that. But as for Wills, a very safe prospect, and I do I think he's one of those can't-miss type of uh, future offensive tackles in the NFL. So that'll do it for this video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed. It seemed like you liked the last video about Andrew Thomas. I'm happy to hear that, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. This video might might be a bit longer. I included some more plays. So if you watched the whole thing, that's great. Let me know. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys next time. And thanks for watching.